Hi you guys, another quick video for the Samsung Galaxy S6. If you're coming over from uh, an iOS device and you've got a lot of music stored on iTunes and you want to transfer it easily over to your new S6 via the cloud, uh, so you can stream it from the cloud or download it very easily, I'm going to show you a quick way utilizing uh, Chrome browser on your MacBook and uh, Google Play Music on your new Samsung device. First of all, within the Chrome browser on your MacBook, it won't work in Safari, you need to be in Chrome. Uh, click on uh, the menu tab on the left hand, right hand side I should say. Uh, go to more tools at the bottom. Go to extensions. When extensions pop up, you want to scroll down till you find Google Play Music and you want to enable it or add it on so it's loaded into uh, memory. So Google Play Music, make sure it's enabled in extensions via the tools tab on the right hand side at the top. Once it's enabled on the left hand side of your screen you'll see an applications bar with all your uh, Google Chrome applications. Click on that tab and you'll see you should have a few screens of applications uh, over the other side. You can move across from screen to screen if you've got more than one screen. And you can see on the top left we've got Google Play Music. Go into Google Play Music. Once you're in Google Play Music, I uh, got that, get out of that bit, go to my library. All right, you can see all the stuff I've got on uh, Google Play Music. Most of this is in the cloud, but I can play it directly from my Mac, from the cloud, or on other devices. Uh, what you need to do then is you need to go over to the cog at the top on the right hand side, which is options. Click on that, go to settings and scroll down through settings and you'll see various uh, items in settings uh, you can start a free trial but you can just do everything totally free so this type of account I've got now is just a free account uh, you can have a maximum of 50,000 uh, songs in the cloud and as you see when you scroll down the screen music from this computer music from the following folders will be added to Google Play Music now I've got iTunes and I've got it ticked in, uh, in this particular tab uh, you can set a download location if you want to, but providing you're signed in in other devices with the same sign-in that you're on Chrome, so use the same Google account on your Chrome on your MacBook and the same again on uh, your Google Play Music on your device and you'll be good to go. So once you've got iTunes in here and you've got it checked over, you can see there's a checkbox underneath that says keep Google Play up to date when I add new music to these locations. So every time I add a new album to iTunes it automatically gets pushed from iTunes to the cloud and uh, it gets pushed through to my uh, Google Play account. Now you can manage devices that you've got authorised to use Google Play Music. You can see I've got my MacBook and various Android devices and iOS devices at the bottom there. Now once you get it all set up, don't expect, if you've got a big music library maybe, I don't know, 7 gig like I have, uh, start it before you go to bed and let it do it overnight. It starts more almost immediately. You'll find that when you go to Google Play on your phone, you'll start to see them pop up. Uh, I'll quickly uh, unlock my phone and show you quickly. Just give me a second. There we go. A bit of messing around and locking then. So if I go into the music folder and we go to Play Music, which is installed on the S6. You can see you've got a tab you can pull out from the right hand side with my, my library. Click on my library. You've got genres, artists, albums and songs. If I go to albums, all these albums are actually on my MacBook via iTunes and they're all uploaded into the cloud and available by uh, Google Play Music. Uh, you can pick any album you want. So pick Adele. We won't, we won't play a track because of copyright again. Let's uh, pick a track. You can see all the tracks there. And what you get is an option at the top of the screen. There's a download button. So if you don't want to play all these from the cloud and you want a few specific albums kept in memory on your S6, you can do that quite easily by clicking that. Once you click that, it'll start downloading them all to the device. And again, you can un unload them. So you can have three albums or four albums that are your favorite albums that you're using all the time on your device. And it's a similar route. Once they're on the device in the memory at the side, you can unclick them and take them off the device. And they're still in the cloud. They don't get deleted or anything. So that's a really quick and handy way to get all your iTunes library from your Mac, your MacBook, your iMac, onto your Android device. Uh, this is the Essex uh, Edge. But if you're coming over from an iPhone and you've decided to go to Android and you're keeping your Mac and all the rest of it, and all your music you've bought on iTunes you want to transfer over 
without doing the laborious way of doing it. This is the easiest way to do it. Uh, it's pretty seamless. It'll do it overnight. Uh, as soon as you start putting albums on, they'll appear one by one. So within 20 minutes, you'll have a few albums on. But to get your full library, it's going to take a bit of time. So I hope this has been useful for you. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Subscribe to my channel. And I get more videos out to you in the very near future. Thanks for watching again.